Hello, hello. This is not the video I plan on filming, but we got some stuff to talk about. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted this and like five of you said that you didn't and then like a hundred of you said that you did. Sorry to the five people. This is gonna be a little bit of a rant. But let me start off by saying I am not trying to hate on Facebook or Mark Zuckerberg. With all that said though, what the f <laughs> When I first started getting into tarantulas, a lot of the information I got was from other keepers that were more experienced than me that I met in tarantula Facebook groups. Now, with that said, I know there's a lot of people here that are very salty towards tarantula Facebook groups because they do have this slightly accurate reputation of having really rude people gang up on new members, new keepers, and kind of berate them. With that said, a good friend of mine named Amy got together with a couple other people and they made this group on Facebook called the Tarantula Community. The point of this group was to be inclusive for all people, to educate people on tarantulas, and to welcome new keepers in the hobby to ask any question that they have. The group was filled with a lot of very experienced keepers and a lot of new keepers. So you kind of had a really good balance there and they would also go above and beyond other groups by doing a community day every month where really interesting questions would be asked and brought to the forefront. They'd gather research and information and post very informative pieces on scientific or even just general hobby stuff. So it was just like a really good place for especially new keepers. It was just a good place. And I always directed people there because I do, I get so many questions about people's tarantulas like all the time. I always try to direct my subscribers to the tarantula community group for help if they need it because it might be a while before I am able to respond to a very urgent question. So that is just a little bit of background. Okay. The group ended up blowing up to about 15,000 members. So it it definitely was a place that a lot of people would go for answers, advice, and just to like hang out and post cute photographs of their tarantulas or laugh at what stupid thing their spider did. I mean, the possibilities were endless. So with that said, Facebook has apparently always had this policy of no live animal sales. So this is something that I was never aware of. I don't believe anybody else was aware of this. And I'm in a lot of animal groups, or at least I was at one time. A lot of vendors would post their stock online. That was just like the common thing, especially for like expo groups and stuff like that. They'd post up what they were bringing to the expo, their availability list, the prices, their breeding projects. If they got a sack, they would post a picture of the egg sack with all the little spiders in it saying like, oh, look what I found today. And they'd get people really excited and people would start you know saying oh save me two save me five whatever this was never an issue until it was around april 2019 where all these rumors started swirling around that facebook does not allow live animal sales and that they were beginning to delete entire groups over sales posts so i remember when that first happened i kind of thought it maybe people were overreacting a little bit i didn't think much of it and a lot of people made their way around these new enforced policies. I don't think the Tarantula Community Group was really allowing any sales posts of any kind. I believe that they were very vigilant about deleting any sales posts. In fact, I saw many posts saying, you know, sorry if your post was deleted, we don't allow sales. They were very good at keeping their group sales post free. Around July 20th, the Tarantula Community hit 15,000 members. There was a little celebration and then the group was deleted, deactivated. The group was deactivated by Facebook. Here is the problem. <laughs> they did not say why the group was deactivated at all, like nothing. They just said that it violated Facebook policies, okay? And you can request a review. So maybe an old sales post triggered it, I don't know. Regardless, the group gets deactivated. The admins and mods are trying frantically to scour the entire group, all the posts, and try to make sure that everything is within Facebook policy. And then they submitted a review. So our little community page is taken down. And so they make a separate backup group called the Tarantula Community TTC or something where it congregated about a thousand members. And we've just kind of been using that group in the meantime, because these reviews 
I, I personally was like, okay, it's an error. They're gonna fix it. The group will be back up in like a day and we'll forget all about this. <laughs> I think it's been about two weeks actually that the group had, the main group has been in review. So, you know, the backup group ended up gaining about a thousand, but they were very careful with the new group. With the new group, they did an admin only approval post. So absolutely no posts for sales were approved at all. Like the admins were very good about keeping it clean, keeping it to according to Facebook policy, right? And then Facebook just deactivated that group. Literally, there's nothing that they did wrong. And the reason they did get a reason this time was because this group was too similar to the other group that was deactivated. What? So I've, uh, I've, I've done a little bit of research. Okay, so first of all, I did go onto Facebook and I looked at their prohibited content to be sold and they listed animal cages as okay and products for animals as okay. The, now, this is what really confused me. This one, any product or part including, but not limited to leather, skin, hide, fur, wool, cat or dog hair, or endangered or threatened species. Like, are you not allowed to sell like a leather bag on Facebook's marketplace anymore? Like, is it, I'm not really sure how to interpret this. No live animals as we know, no livestock, no selling pets, and of course, no selling prohibited species or whatever. That is their rule now. I guess that's always been their rule, but they just started enforcing it this year. And the reason why they began to enforce it is because they wanted to protect the welfare of animals against illicit trades. Now, I can see that being a good thing, and I believe that they were doing it intentionally for the good of animals, which I can, I can, good. But this is not how to go about it. This is not cool, Facebook. They've made people and groups so paranoid that even mentioning sales is scaring admins and mods of groups because it has the word sales in it. They say that they will still allow sales if posted by animal rehoming, so if you're rehoming your animal, and for shelters, so that's good, and then also for brick and mortar entities, so I guess like actual pet shops okay um <laughs> tarantula sales are not like the sale of cats and dogs we don't have tarantulas and shelters waiting for homes we don't have an abundance of tarantulas that need to be rehomed like that sounds like ridiculous but like say if somebody wants to get out of the hobby They'll go in a tarantula group and they'll be like, hey guys, like this is my list of tarantulas that I have and I'm getting out of the hobby. This, These are the prices. And you will have people jump. Like you will have people fight over that grandma stole pulchra. Also, you don't walk into like a pet smart and find a rare tarantula. Like the, the way that this hobby works is hobbyist breeding and selling to other hobbyists for the most part. There are businesses, you know, like Pelt Friction Tarantulas, Jamie's Tarantulas. For the most part, the average breeder isn't bringing in a large income or anything like that. It's kind of like the greater good for the hobby when somebody has success at breeding something because then we have more of that species in the hobby and that's really important, especially when it costs a lot in America to import tarantulas here from other countries like Poland. So basically, while Facebook might be helping stop sales of puppy mill dogs or backyard breeders, they're hurting us. They're hurting the tarantula keepers. They're hurting the exotic pet keepers. What are your thoughts? Do you guys think that this is helping or do you guys think that this is hurting? What, what do you think? Do you think their new like enforced policies are a good thing for animals or a bad thing? Because like personally, I think it's just, it's hurting the exotic pet industry. You know, vendors dedicate their 
all their free time to breeding and traveling to expos and stuff like that to sell and now they can't even post their availability list and expo groups without getting the entire freaking group deleted like there's most vendors work like a, a full-time job and they just do this for fun on the side and it contributes to the community and the hobby greatly it's not easy it, and it takes time and money and effort and traveling and facebook has really shut it down they were kind of like the hub for all of this like this was the website that pretty much everybody was on and it was really easy to just access groups like it's more difficult to like go on Google and like search you know these things up this was just like the one place that brought everyone together and now it's kind of crumbling and do I personally think it's gonna hurt Facebook yeah absolutely there's already groups that have hopped off from Facebook and gone to other social media platforms personally I would rather keep the groups on Facebook because that is just convenient for me and I think it's convenient for other people and I think it's especially convenient for beginners who need help with their new animals. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. With all that said, the Tarantula community does have a Facebook page. Go like it. They are planning on making a separate forum. As for the main Tarantula community group, it's still being reviewed. Who knows how long that'll take. Hopefully it'll be back up, but I've heard even if they do go back up, they get taken down for the smallest infraction later. So go like their Facebook page. I'm linking it down below. They'll keep you updated on what's going on. Anyway, I have, I have like three other videos I'm working on right now. I really probably should be working on those, but it was just convenient for me to film this really quick. And also I keep getting people asking me about this group because obviously I've like directed a lot of people there and now it's disappeared. So now you know. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Like I said, I have like three other videos I'm working on right now, which I'm excited to share with you guys. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. <laughs> okay.